You know, Megan, you look at all that there, and now you're talking about this heat that's I coming know. our way. I know, right? <laughs> what a stark difference. And uh, actually, Squaw Valley and Alpine Meadows, they're part of the, the same uh, ski slopes, but they are forecast to stay open past the 4th of July for the first time in history, at least on Saturday. So something to keep in mind, if you want to go skiing for the 4th of July, you can up in Tahoe. Check out the view in PB. It's a beautiful, a lot of sunshine there. PQ though, different story. It's very cloudy. So we're seeing quite a spread. Some areas mostly cloudy, other areas getting more sunshine. That trend ends tomorrow. We are going to see a lot more sunshine for all areas tomorrow. Still on the cool side in the 60s. Ooh, look at that. Ramona, Alpine, and Fallbrook still in the 50s right now. So it's feeling more like March and before you know it, it's going to be feeling like summer. Tomorrow is actually going to be a typical May day, so take advantage of it while you can because we haven't seen many of those so far this month. A little breezy you could see my uh, gusts up to around 10 miles per hour along the coast, but stronger in the mountains and the deserts. Julian right now sustained at 21 miles per hour, but our mountains and deserts will continue to see those strong gusty winds into this evening. That wind advisory that we've been talking about for a couple of days now has been extended until nine o'clock this evening. Average gusts 40 to 55 miles per hour could cause some difficulty driving, especially if you're in a tall vehicle or blowing kind of that dust and sand around. So this storm system right here is going to be bringing severe weather as it goes. That cooler air moving out and filtering in warmer air as high pressure builds into the area. We're talking about 70s and we could even see a few 80s on Saturday for the warmest coastal locations. Our inland neighborhoods average pretty close to tomorrow, 76 degrees. And then we're going to see the hottest valleys climbing to the 90s this weekend. The mountains close to 30 degrees warmer than yesterday in the mid 70s this weekend and getting very hot in a couple of days in the deserts. Guys.